Hi Andrews, this is Hosen. I'm gonna explain to you. Uh, now other other technique to to make the same blinking because by safety blinking we're gonna understand better the sampling process okay now I'm gonna make some drawings here to show you some things for example um, if we this is time okay this line is time and I'm gonna show you I'm going to show you for example, uh, oh, sorry. One, two, three, four, five. And uh, assume this is seconds, okay? For now. Or uh, be better, milliseconds. Milliseconds. Milliseconds for us and S, yes, okay? Then I want to show you, for example, how we can uh, make to to make a more efficient way to 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 make the blinking. And we're gonna use the interrupts. Yeah, interrupts are are or is a technique in which the we make callings to the microcontrollers or the processor to execute a routine, a specific a specific routine, each x time, x time. Okay. If we configure, for example, execute routine each. Mm, execute routine each millisecond uh, interrupt each one millisecond okay millisecond. and assume that the each the, the execution time of routing is I don't know mm, all three milliseconds, okay. Then we, after the the microcontroller star or, re, or reset, have, and the next millisecond appears the interrupt. Yeah, it's like a so all three, and next all three, more or less. Next all three time execution execution okay more or less this is this what is important in this moment to be sure the operation we're gonna make make here last last um less time that all three millisecond yeah ADC or ADC or adding operation, registering operation, multiplication, uh, multiplication, etc. Yeah, any any other operation we make here in this time. If we got warranty this operation is less the execution time is less than interrupt time
then it's okay the system we can work okay uh, why, why I make you this introduction because uh, it's important to just assure the operation don't take more time that than the interrupt yeah for example what happens change the color if we run uh, it's inside the routing more time uh, for example here yeah it overlaps here and the and the microcontroller is make one interrupts run but like the operation is not not finished it executes other interrupt and generates uh, a kind of um, a kind of uh, several callings to interrupt this here call the interrupt and it and it's executed after finish the first and here other yeah and here other and even could happens that when is it is accumulate even two or, or three or more interrupts request okay and it's no good for the for the system the DS warranty this time is less than uh, period time okay I'm gonna show you this in, in how it works in in the blinking then show, show look it that in on the On the um, project management project manage, manager of, of the MPLAB, we have two file two file two master. Yeah, it is because I have created two different projects and uh, call both same. Yeah, this master is of the test two master dot x and this is blinklet master x. Okay, but no problem and we can have if we can have here several projects uh, but it's important to enable set as my project okay set as my project okay then open close this close this source and main yeah we have seen this execute the like ms 50 500 milliseconds toggle okay I want to show you how we can um, understand and see really how how long time takes the time for example let to know how much cycles of clocks time uh, takes let toggle operation yeah then to make this it's important uh, these th those things these things uh, okay we're gonna click the bug and the book my, my project okay I want to show you some error that happens here because The, the the DSP DSP three thirteen three CH board have a uh, debugger. The booger the booger is a system to 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 verify in real time or in constant continue constant communication what is happening on inside the 
the, the program. Then, for example, uh, uh -huh, there is an error, yeah? It says, uh, the, the device is not ready for the booking. Okay, what is the issue? They say, please, the common case, the common causes for this failure is our oscillators and or PGC, PD, PGD settings, okay? What happens? Okay, open, open MCC. and look system system uh, here from system model okay look at here go in on on system model okay here I'll place here okay resources resource management system model appears the this configuration of the system yeah look at this ICD in circuit development or in circuit debugger, yeah. ICD in circuit debugger, and you say communicate one PGC one and PGD one. But what happens when I check the, the diagram, the schematic of the of the development board? You can see here. Okay, here. Look at the the USB. We can see uh, the picket is like uh, the booker program programmer that is connected to the USB. Okay, this is J J G nine connector there is an USB connector when it's connected to the computer it says PKG PGC PGD yes the the programmer and the booger okay it is connected to this for in this yeah the two but two is connected to the I'm sorry. Not the PKP, PGT, PGC. Okay. But no, no. I'm sorry. This is not gen the the USB. I'm sorry, I I was wrong. The USB is is not this connector. Is uh, ah, is this? This is the USB connector. I'm sorry. Yeah. J twenty. And you have the signals DN and DP in this connector here, and the debugger is in it is P C P K PGC P K PGD. Okay, this these signals are the same of G9 debugger. You can check in on your board. There is a. I'm gonna show you on the on the on the, on the, on the cam. Okay, let's see here. This is G J twenty, and here is the G A nine uh, connector. Okay. If we have other kind of programmer like Pikit or other debugger, we can connect directly here to make the book. But with this tool, we can make to the book. Then coming back to the to this part, it means P K P G D P K P G C are connected to the this. Da, da, da. I check here. Uh, PKG, PK, 
Disconnected. Okay, but what is important in this moment to understand basically the pick the to make the book we can use this PGED2 and PGEC2. Okay, then we can change this on here. Okay, or in circuit the bullet, just change to PGC2 and PG2. Okay. Then generate code and the book, the book main project. Okay. difference between the book and programming or program the, the, the board is that the booking allows me run step by step and check uh, variables yeah okay now it's running yeah now it's running the, the code go to main and we can uh, look at here this this part of here this is the the booking controls then play click pause and in this moment the the programming is stopped okay what I want to show you I'm gonna show you how much clocks takes the led one toggle instruction yeah this is C abstraction. This is a C language abstraction. Yes, based uh, based this. Yes, based. Little one toggle toggle. Okay, based this instruction. Instruction. Yeah. But these instructions have an assembly language construction. Then. You, you click window the booking uh, disassembly okay uh, mm -hmm. uh, what happening here disassembly uh, I don't know what's happening here I'm gonna build it again I'm sorry Maybe okay, and the book. No, stop, stop. And the, the previous the book in the session. here source code 
I don't know what's happening right now. Show me the the yes, missing the group information. But, hmm, I don't know what's wrong here. Let me see the model ACD. Disassembly the book main project window no really I, I don't know what's happening here because I want to show you an important aspect of this but I don't know why this don't don't show me the main three model no, no. Uh, okay uh, I'm sorry mm, the book Okay, try to make on C and next we check the next the the other then check click and reset go to main uh, I'm sorry I'm sorry I'm sorry I'm sorry I'm so sorry open main and click F7 or or this this step into okay then the main start yeah, run, 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 and start here and says system initialize the system initialize is this and then go to pin manager run each task run each task run each each line run each line run 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 yes. now clock initialized run 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 click click, click. The, I am pressing the F7 key on my keyboard now interrupt initialize there is nothing here interrupt global enable enable global interrupts sister system core core con figure it is a uh, core configuration core okay and now it's a uh, let's toggle yeah let's toggle if you are looking your or once you click the or press F7 the let turn on next I press F7 and and this runs uh, this sentence but we're gonna click here again Run to course. Run to cursor. Okay. And next again F and F7 and this this pass from the line to this line and the left turn on turn off. I wanna look if this is okay. Right now we have the this is simple. This is the same code we have in C but An assembly, yeah. Assembly is the low-level language, but the how it is useful for us to to see where is the how how much um, how much operations, how much clocks 
of system takes execution of each of some tanks. Then in this moment is running the delay, but like we we execute very right step by step. It, it, it takes long time. Then I'm gonna play the cursor here. Play press F F4. Run to cursor, run to cursor, and play, press F7. Then we're gonna execute the left one toggle. I'm mm, sorry, run to cursor, okay. Then take note, left one toggle takes two. Four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty, twenty clocks of of system. Yeah, it's a lot of 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 breaking. Yeah, a lot of a lot of clocks to turn on or turn off one port. Okay, uh, next, the delay takes two, four, and call one operation and wait here. We can see this because this is in order, in other part we can access in this moment to see in the, the the delay. Maybe we can try to see. I don't know. Maybe let me see. Main, main, main. Go to this declaration. And do this assembly. Uh, let me see the cooking assembly. No. It's not, it not easy in this moment access to, to the delay assembly, okay? <laughs> but for now we can we can see the over the boobie this assembly. Uh, sorry, where is cold stuff? I don't know where got the cursor. Backbones, identification, PMI variables. The boogie, this assembly. Okay. This is the, the this assembly. Okay. Because again, the lead one toggle takes all all the all these clocks. Okay. Then I have made this operation for one reason. Let toggle takes forty, okay, twenty clocks, okay. One, two, four. Each instruction takes two clocks, okay. And the the clock in this case is eight megahertz, yeah. But like you see at OSC frequency oscillator divided to this is the real operation clock yeah it means that it each each line takes one over one divide from megahertz is the time per time of one cycle yeah cycle of clock it is like twenty five two hundred fifty nanoseconds okay for execution nanoseconds but these nanoseconds uh Really is not the execution of, of oh, okay, twenty two hundred 
250 nanoseconds but like you see this is 564645666 it means it happens between the line x section and between the line have there are two clocks yeah don't, then is not the, the path from this from this from this to this is this for two okay and this is 500 nanoseconds yeah what it means we have an execution of two megahertz okay two megahertz is the time takes the or pass from here to here takes 500 nanoseconds what it means total takes 20 of these execution times then you can apply uh, this operation is 20 500 nanoseconds or, or dot 5 microseconds multiply by 20 it means that the frequency available for the minimum available frequency based on the, the, the clock we have is uh, 10 microseconds. Yeah. What is 10 microseconds? Is 10 kilohertz. Yeah. If we if we set to run that toggle in, in a continuously loop without delays, we should have more or less this 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 frequency, yeah. I'm gonna try to make it uh, to see I am in true I am right or not. And again stop the booger uh, just run take note when I when I had made a, a greater changes on all the all the files in other files is better clean and build okay but if I change a little parts of my code by coming some text I can just run here and this compile again yeah I'm gonna see what is the frequency in this moment okay I'm gonna show you something look at I'm sorry Okay, I I gonna show you in my in my oscilloscope what is in this moment running the the pin of the the pin out of the of the lead LID one. Okay, it say one hundred eighteen kilohertz. I have saying it should have a, a 
like one kilohertz, one hundred kilohertz. I don't know exactly. Maybe the the measure of the of the steps to light toggle is not exact. Maybe it's not twenty. Um, maybe the light toggle have all the replications, yeah. But it's not a precise measure, okay. But what is important here? Let one toggle operation take some time to execute, okay. Then I gotta show you why it's important because when I I rename let one table and so on. Okay. Because like I wanna close this 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 project. And because I gonna show you in the next video the when interrupts and the problem of down dimension right the clock or the interrupts do at this toggle time okay then for now this is, is, is it's uh, it's all for this video I'm gonna stop and save other video make other video to start from zero from scratch and interrupt timer okay Bye-bye, Andrews.